Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, and we want to thank you for Jonathan and Melanie and the way that they have grown together to this point, Lord, where they want to make a commitment to each other and to you. And so, Lord, as we start off the service, we ask that you would oversee and guide in everything that is done, everything that is said. We truly want it to honor you. So, Lord, even as we go through it, for each one, whether it's Jonathan or Melanie or a person in the congregation, would you speak to us? We want to hear from you this day. And may we enjoy our time with you. In your name, amen. As you can see, they enjoy each other. But Jonathan and Melanie, uh, they chose a verse for this wedding and for their marriage. And it's Psalm 143, verse 8. And it says, Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I trust my life. So growing up with a little sister was great, at times. <laughs> But honestly, Melanie's always been the nicest person and most beautiful soul. In fact, as I got older, I'd occasionally watch what she was doing or see how she handled a tough situation and just think, wow, kind of wish she was the older sister, you know? When Jonathan brought Melanie home to meet us, we were pretty quick to embrace her into the family. <laughs> we couldn't resist this lovely young woman who brings such joy and fun into our household. Uh, first, let me introduce myself. My name is Callan. I've been friends with John since high school. But I just wanted to say that uh, you two are really important friends to me, and I feel very blessed and honored and supported to have you both as friends, and I wish you both the best in your marriage. Now, John, she's her very best friend. She loves you. I can see that. Heck, anyone can. Save that light in her soul. Protect it. Embrace it. And be the lighthouse keeper she needs. Love it with your whole life, and I know for the rest of your life you'll be grateful for it. On behalf of the families of Jonathan and Melanie, thank you for coming this afternoon and being part of this joyful occasion. Now the question, who is giving this woman to be married to this man? And now I charge you, Jonathan and Melanie, that you remember that this covenant is not only a pledge of faith to each other, but also to God, to honor the promise you are about to make to him and one another. I charge you, Jonathan and Melanie, to love each other just as Christ loved his church and gave himself for it. I take you, Melanie, to be my wife from this day forward to join with you and share with you all that there is to come. I will be faithful to you and honest with you. I will respect, trust, help, and care for you. And I will forgive you as we have both been forgiven, as long as we both shall live. I take you, Jonathan, to be my husband from this day forward. <laughs> to join with you and share all that is to come. I'm okay. <laughs> I'll get through this. It's all good. <laughs> I will be faithful to you and honest with you. I will respect, trust, and help and care for you. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven for as long as we both shall live. <laughs> what God has joined together, let no person separate. Jonathan, You may kiss your bride.
I get to the point where I'm just about to sleep, and I hear John say, Mel, where are my shoes? No, no, yeah, I looked there. And I realize John is sleep deaf. A couple minutes later, I hear, found them. <laughs> You two are both strong individuals, and now you are both that much stronger because now you are one in body, mind, soul, and spirit. Share life together always with the thought and will in mind to enrich and enhance each other's everyday lives. I could tell that she was different because our dad told us that someone was coming for dinner and he made us clean the entire house, even though she would only be in the kitchen. After dinner, we played board games, and this is when we realized that they were perfect for each other. Mel was just as aggressive and vengeful as John when it came to board games. If you ruined her plans in the game, you'd be quickly met with Mel's cold stare, and then soon after, she would start her plot for vengeance. <laughs> 